Stephanie and I have my September favorites for y'all today. I know I'm a few days late but I was actually feeling under the weather for a few days just now. I had a really bad sore throat and I also had like a runny nose and stuff so I'm feeling much better now but I do have some shout outs this month. Shout out to Alka-Seltzer Plus, shout out to Emergency, shout out to Green Juice, and shout out to the tissues with the lotion built in. Yeah. All right, moving right along. Um, I actually want to address something before I go on in, into my favorites. Uh, I know a lot of y'all have been hit by some spam bot telling you that you won a giveaway and that you need to like enter in all this information into this site. That is not me, and I really, really apologize if you actually went ahead and did what they wanted you to do. I know that some people actually even entered in their credit card information, and I just want to say it straight out right now, I will never ever have you enter in your credit card information for any kind of giveaway. Um, so yeah, I really apologize. Yeah, I guess this happens quite a lot when people have giveaways, but it's the first time it's actually really happened to me, and I didn't even really know that this occurred and it's super evil and terrible so please don't open up any emails saying like you won giveaways because um, yeah I wouldn't do that. For future reference I'll be very specific about the premise of the giveaways and how I will contact winners like in the description box of any giveaway that I do and again I just really apologize if you were hit by the spam bot. Alright so let's move into my favorites so my first favorite of the month is coconut oil and as you can tell, it is freaking hot in San Francisco right now because my coconut oil is completely melted. Um, it could usually be like in a kind of solid state, but it is very hot in here. I've been loving coconut oil this month just for restoring moisture into my hair. I have been using it uh, maybe at least once a week as an overnight mask. I usually try to wash my hair once every three days. So on the third night, I will just run some coconut oil through my hair and then put my hair up into a bun and go to sleep and the next morning just wash it out. Before I actually did it, I thought that it might be kind of gross and oily, but Coconut oil just, it really absorbs into my hair and it's up in a bun so it doesn't even like really go on my pillow or anything um, and the next day when I wash my hair there's hardly anything that actually washes out because I feel like overnight it really absorbs into the hair and it just makes my hair feel awesome the next day. So I've been really loving this. This one is by Dr. Bronner's actually but the one I had been using was a Spectrum one but I realized like last week that it had been expired for a while. I mean, I was only using it topically, so I don't think there was that much of an issue, but yeah, you should definitely check out if your products are expired because that's no good. <laughs> Next up, I have this little lotion from The Face Shop. Look how cute it is. I can't, I can't even look at it, it's so cute. Uh, not only is it so cute, uh, the hand lotion on the inside is super moisturizing, it smells so good, and I just use it every night before I go to bed, and this is actually a gift from a subscriber. Thank you so much, Jenny. Uh, I really, really love this, and actually because of this product, I kind of wanted to look more into the face shop because I had never really used their products before. And Jenny had actually also given me a couple masks from the face shop, so I kind of figured out where my nearest face shop was, and there was one in Japantown. So that leads up into my next favorite, which are these sheet masks from the face shop as well. These are $2 each, and if you buy five, you get one free, which I think is a pretty awesome deal. I feel like it's a very inexpensive, luxurious kind of treat for yourself. So uh, here I have olive, acai berry, honey, red ginseng, green tea, and blueberry. These are just really nice and super moisturizing. I feel like even if they say different, they do different things, all in all, I think that they just really put moisture into your skin. And uh, I've been doing this as kind of a weekly or bi-weekly thing now. I think I never really used to do a lot of masks, but within the last few months, I've been treating myself to tons of masks and I think my skin's really thanking me for it. Here I have a lip combo that I've been wearing nonstop and it is this Makeup Forever little lip liner in 3C and this Burt's Bees lip crayon in Sedona Sands. And if you saw my Get Ready With Me recently, I wore this combination and I just love this color combo. It is so good from day to night and I think truly this is my 
favorite kind of neutral lip at this point. And this lip liner on its own is really awesome as well. It's a bit darker than the Sedona Sands. It is super creamy, um, slightly drying obviously. It's to be expected from a lip liner. If you're looking for that kind of sandy light brown lip, you should go for this lip liner for sure. My next favorite is actually this chain I'm wearing today and it is a daily look chain. I believe it's just like $19 I think on the site and it's awesome quality. I think that's the issue I've been having with uh, trying to find cool chains lately is that uh, I can't I can't really find chains that are really good quality that are not like I don't know 70 80 bucks. So if you know of any sites that are selling like heavy cool jewelry that isn't too costume like um, let me know because I'm on the prowl and the earrings I'm wearing today yes I'm wearing earrings I should what should that have been the first thing that I mentioned because I literally haven't worn earrings in like I don't know like a couple of years but I want to get back into it so I'm wearing these earrings actually from a local artist uh, her jewelry line is called Maya jewelry so I will link all her stuff down below but it's really really pretty like I the tone of this gold is very interesting I really love it so yeah I'm trying to get into more jewelry my ears are just not used to it yet though because I feel like my I keep like lifting my ears you know because of like the slight weight that's on it I don't know moving on to my next favorite it is this BB Dakota dress that I actually wore for my birthday but I didn't stop there. I pretty much have been wearing it very consistently since my birthday. I feel like it's just such a versatile piece. I can wear it up or down. I can wear it out to dinner or something in the daytime. And I just love this shape of dress. It's just really my favorite shape of dress because um, you can eat a bunch and no one can tell. You can eat a lot of stuff and your food baby will be concealed or you could dance and you got a lot of you know, leg room. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a really good dress. I like it. Next up, I have a bag, and I don't think I've ever included a bag in a favorites, but anyways, it is this leather drawstring bag from ASOS, and I have been loving this bag for just everything. Uh, walking around the city, going to do errands. It's super handy, and honestly, when I go out at night, I usually don't bring a handbag with me. If I'm wearing my, my leather jacket or something, I just put my wallet, my phone in my pocket and that's pretty much all I need to go out. Um, but lately it's been really hot here and I haven't even been able to wear my leather jacket out at night so um, you know I don't have any pockets to put anything in so I've been wearing this. It's so handy because it lies so flat on your back that you almost like can't even feel like it's on and it's not like bumping around. That's something I hate about handbags. So when I'm out or if I'm dancing, just like my handbag on my hip or something, you know, and it's just like bumping everybody because I don't know. You might never see me really groove and like get down, but when I dance, I dance. I go really hard. So um, I can't have a handbag flopping around on my waist, no. So um, this is really good for going out dancing. If you are looking for a good going out bag, I think this is the perfect one. Of course, I will link it down below with everything else that I speak about in this video. Last up, I have a book called You're Not Helping by Ryan Patricks. And if you're familiar with Chelsea Wears here on YouTube, Ryan is her boyfriend and they are just amazing people. I hang out with them because they're in San Francisco as well. And this book is so hilarious. Every single line in this book will make you laugh. Even the cover and the back is hilarious. If you, I'll do some close-ups if you want to pause it and read it. It's so funny. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a just very light and crass read, I would go for this. It definitely brightened my mood, made me laugh. I actually was reading this a lot before going to bed and it just wasn't helping me go to bed at all because I kept wanting to read it because it was so funny. You can find this book actually on Chelsea's site, Shop Enomi. If you haven't been on that site, you should. She has amazing jewelry, uh, handcrafted pieces from different artists. It's a beautiful website and um, I also believe Amazon, I want to say. I'll link that as well down below if I find the link and yeah, I just, this I can't say enough. It's a really funny book. All right, so those are all my favorites of September. I actually have one thing I would like to ask y'all. What do you think I should be for Halloween? It's coming up super soon, so um, I really need to get that video together because I'm trying to upload it, you know, at least a week and a half or two weeks before 
the 31st. So yeah, please give me any suggestions you like. Uh, I already have a couple things in mind, but I would love to hear what you have to say. Keep in mind though that I'm no like Emma Pickles. I have no real makeup artistry skills, so don't say anything like, I don't know, like Avatar or something. Because <laughs> I would just end up looking like a blue blob. I would look like a smurf probably, most likely. Yeah. Alright, that's it for me. I hope y'all liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. You can find me on Instagram, at SoothingSista, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye!